China-built Lagos Metro Line is reported to be revolutionizing the transport industry in Nigeria. The first phase of the electric light rail project began operations in late January. It is part of the Lagos state government's transportation plan. Here's Deji Bademosi with that story. It's a historic moment for the Nigerian commercial city of Lagos and the realization of a dream that dates back about 40 years when the idea of the Lagos Metro Line network was conceived. The 27-kilometer light rail blue line project is one of the six rail lines and monorails contained in the Lagos State Strategic Transport Master Plan. Its construction had been divided into phases for ease of implementation. What has been commissioned is the first phase of the blue line, which is 13 kilometers. It will reduce travel time, it will improve the quality of life of our citizens, and it will make Lagos one of the most resilient mega city, not only in Africa, but it will compete with other mega cities in the world. This blue line system will be powered end to end by an high voltage electricity to be supplied by a dedicated independent power, as well as a backup system that means that the operation of this line will have zero carbon emission impact on the environment. Built by Chinese construction firm China Civil Engineering Construction Cooperation, CECC, the first phase of the Lagos Blue Rail Line is expected to convey 31 million passengers annually from one part of the city to another, easing the traffic pressure on the city's roads. With this project, CCECC has completed 730 kilometers of railway in Nigeria in the past five years for the cementing bilateral relations between Nigeria and China. The blue line is sustainable line. Why sustainable? Without the sustainable line of life, the better life. Everybody know Lagos is rising. So I want to share with you Lagos people and the government not only survive, we are reviving and also we will thrive. So this blue line really can be a pivotal role to realize our thriving life. The Lagos state government has now signed the contract for the commencement of work for the second phase of the remaining 14 kilometers of the blue line project. Work is also nearing completion on the Red Line project as well. When the entire Metro Line project is completed, the six lines are expected to transport half a million passengers daily, taking vehicles off the road in a city well known for its traffic nightmare. Deji Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.